Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Unboxed, Watched, and Reviewed. We're in flashback land, so you know what that means. We have a package. Inside that package was a movie that some people consider to be disturbing. Shea St. John, The Triggers Compilation. Have you guys ever heard of Shea St. John? Shea... Say Shane, what the fuck is it? Have you guys ever heard of Shay St. John? I haven't. This series definitely walks the fine line between madness and genius. The movie came recommended to me by someone on Facebook. He said, oh my god, you gotta check this out. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a man or a woman or what the hell's going on. Shay is impossible to describe. Midget? Question mark. A cross-dressing contortionist? Question mark. Yikes. I don't know. Shane St. John is the real deal. Supposedly, this woman who was a model and a performer got into a bad car accident and was left with no arms or legs. So she made this very weird suit and made these little films called Triggers. Do you like my gams? Question mark. This is the weirdest synopsis I've ever read. So Shay is a woman covered in mannequin parts who has a really high-pitched voice that is sped up like Fred's. Shay St. John, the star, is quoted on the back saying, I am the most studied sufferer in all of the world. So, on that note, it sounds good, looks good, and let's do it! So I put the movie in and the menu popped up and there's this weird puppet telling me to make a selection. Make a selection. Okay, I'm gonna make a selection, Jesus. So we got triggers, music videos, and special features. It's time to make a selection. We're gonna do triggers. Play all. Trigger one. Kiki. Kiki is Shay's doll who is telekinetic and can make pop bottles fly around. What? Alright, this is crazy. So Shay is really weird looking. I mean, you look at it and just think, what in the hell is that? This is really odd. She kind of looks like a living doll from Secrets of the Living Dolls. If you guys have not seen that, do yourself a favor and look it up. It is fantastic. So after talking really fast and saying all sorts of crazy stuff, we move on to Trigger 2. Sometimes she talks so fast that you can't understand what she's saying. But luckily, sometimes what she says will come up on the screen in various fonts and colors. Trigger 4 is about Kiki trying to get into the washroom by flying into it. And 30 seconds later, it's over. This is when Shay introduces one of her many catchphrases. This one is GAMS. So GAMS is something you hear a lot in this series. This is so weird. Another catchphrase is hello again. This is the one she says the most and it is the most annoying. Almost after every other sentence she says, she says hello again. Trigger 6 is about a basket prize that someone left on her doorstep. Inside the basket prize is a doll with a flying head. Oh, trigger 7. Kitty candy. Her face is just all over the place. It's just weird stuff. Her face, she's typing really fast, super fast, and then her face will go, now she's slowing down in slow-mo, glowing. Now she's kitty, kitty, kitty. And she's sitting on this chair with her little, she's got a little hand. Both her gams and her hands were very narrow and thin and just really odd. 
Trigger eight. Broadway Shay. In this one, Shay puts on a Broadway play called Hello Again, based on her famous catchphrase, and not the movie starring Shelley Long. Which is a bummer, because I would love to see that thing brought to the stage. Wouldn't you? And Outrageous Fortune. She's got like a fake hand and these mannequin legs. Mannequin gams. Is this thing a puppet? I bet it's an animatronic thing. The more I looked at Shay, the more of its actual human parts I could see. Like under the detached jaw, and you can see like cheek with stubble on it. So it's a little man? The end. Bouncing around. Trigger 9. Trigger 9 is called Red Carpet, and in it, Shay accepts an award for her play, I think. Red carpet feels so good in my hands, because so young, under my fingers. Honey! And she mentions a lot of really random celebrities. Candace Bergen? Her voice is faster than that of an auctioneer's. And I recently learned that auctioneers have to go to school to be an auctioneer. They have to go to school for that. Can, uh, can you imagine? Hey, what's your major? Talking fast. I bet the Micro Machines man had to go to class. I bet that fucked with his marriage. Hey, I gotta go to voice class. Oh, God, what time am I back? Well, it depends how fast I can talk. We see a picture of her all war hauled out, and then it's over. Back to the menu. And that's all of them. What the fuck? Look at this. 92 minutes. Main menu. So this DVD was very hard to control. First of all, you couldn't see what was selected. Yeah, well, you know, your selections don't light up very much. And second of all, it would just automatically play some of the selections as you would skim by them. Why is it play there? It was such a pain in the ass. Top menu. I can't run this thing. So I was going through the menu, through all ten triggers. I'm trying to make these selections. Is she really loud? I figured with the runtime of 90 minutes that maybe the other 60 were on the selection called music videos. 92 minutes? I don't know about that. But that'd be fine with me if, if it's done now. So I watched all the music videos, all the Easter eggs, and they still did not add up to 90 minutes. So I went back to the triggers page, and that's when I noticed a little arrow down at the bottom. Oh my god, there's more. Play now, 11 through 20. So I sat through 25 extra minutes of Shay doing the exact same thing for no reason? Uh, so now what does that mean? That means we've got an hour left of uh, this? We have an hour left of this. Oh my god! Trigger 12. This one is called 24-7. She talks about how she's signing autographs over the internet 24-7, and that's about it. Trigger 13, switchboard. And that's when I realized why these are called triggers. Because that's what you pull when you watch these. The end. My mind is just somewhere else. My mind is not right here. It's not right here. It's over there. Trigger 14. Trigger 15, airbags. Be warned, they say on the back you're gonna talk like her. Repeat viewings will lead you to walk away talking Shay speech. If I start saying hello again, I'm gonna be very annoyed with myself. Trigger 16. Trigger 17. We get more and more of the same and it is relentless, just repeating itself over and over again with such noise and flashes and just like banging noises and like really loud heaters and steamers and trains and just anything you don't want to hear, you'll hear. Trigger 18. It's gonna give me a fucking seizure. 20 is a nonsensical piece about a new dress. The end. Just rolled in. And we're back to the menu to make more selections. It looks like there's more. There's more. Play all. How many are there? Trigger 21. Fat Farm. The next nine are all like the other ones. Trippy headaches. 
that Okay, at this point I'm starting to think I rather would watch Night of the Living Fred. Trigger 23. My mind is going somewhere else again. Then wire therapy is introduced and this is simply her hanging from a bunch of wires saying the words wire therapy a lot. And then those words will pop up in other ones that are to come. You know, you'll see her grabbing a thing of wires real quick and that'll be it. But it's a reference to something we've already seen which kind of ties these together. Hi everyone. Did you hear that in the water session right now? Yeah, I'm in the water therapy. The end. Trigger 24. Modeling session. It's weird, the chin is hooked on and the face from right here, but you can see like this much, you can see this much skin and the mouth. Like it's a chin piece and then a whole eye piece and wig. And the pieces would change because sometimes they were like broken and just like laying down on this man's face. She looked really weird there. This one really shows how the costume works. And you can see the guy's skin, which is kind of creepy. When he opened up its mouth there, says Sean. You could see its teeth sometimes and its tongue and the back of its throat when it was yelling, So like Sean! Trigger 25. Trigger 26. I sure hope I don't waste a dream on this thing. Like while I'm sleeping and have a fucking dream about this, wake up and think, oh, what a boring night. Do you, do you see how bad my ADD is? I can't even get through sleep without getting bored. This next one is my favorite of all the triggers. In it she receives another basket prize, and in it is something she calls a bake. Yeah, Ever sent me something called a bake. Yeah. Bake. He sent me something called the bake. It was like, what the fuck is a bake? It's really weird. This is a really weird one. I guess the bake is an old toaster and she sets it on fire. And it's just, and now it's sitting by the fire, the, the bake, she lit the bake on fire. The bake, yes. Bake. The end. Trigger 28. Trigger 29. And finally, Trigger 30. In this last one, she and a doll go to a dance club, and the doll takes this drug that gives her a seizure. And... That's it. That's all of them. This was so weird. Looking into the camera makes me feel really dizzy from all the flashing that I've been looking at for the past 90 minutes. It's like, oh God. So, um, I don't want to look at that. After watching this, you'll stand up and be like, oh Jesus, because it's so disorienting. So what do I give this? On a scale of one to five? Well, as a whole movie, I'd have to give it a two. But as individual clips, I'd give them a lot higher than that. I can see them being enjoyed very much in smaller segments. But watching it as a whole movie got very, very redundant. I thought it was good at first, then it slowed down, then it just got boring. But at the same time, it's something so unusual that it has to be seen to be believed. So, even though I only gave it a 2, I do recommend this. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.